everyone, I'm Olive Blade and welcome to my wonderland. This week has not gone to plan at all. I originally had a haul of a specific anime I will not mention, but that isn't happening obviously so I still wanted to try and bring you a video this week so I just grabbed the first thing that I thought yes I can unbox this. <laughs> Let's just say I had a bit of a casualty in my previously planned video but don't you worry once I have a resolution for that I will finish the video and post it as soon as I can. Now until then I still hope you enjoyed this quick video just a bit more of casual unboxing but nevertheless a figure I just absolutely adore so let's crack her open and as you can see da -da -da, it's the ReZero Beatrice Puck KD Cully 17th scale tea party version by Katikawa and I really do love the Katikawa figures I do have now looking at the box it is a gorgeous mix of pastel pinks oh definitely a celebration of Beatrice's colors I love the kind of Alice in Wonderland diamonds you've got there as well the very much sticker of authenticity tick and I love the big windows too because you can see a lot of this figure but it's still very well packaged getting out the knife and let's crack this gorgeous little tsundere open I think she she is a tsundere yes Oh, and having a look at the top there, pulling her out, and quite simple. Oh, look at the inside. You can see it properly now, and it's kind of her lace work of her dress. I won't lie, I it's on my goals list is to cosplay Beatrice one time because I just really want to make and wear her dress because it is just so cute. If you love pastel pink, it's just mm. I've been wanting to get this figure for the longest time. I finally managed to get it from for pre-order price off of Bai through Yahoo Japan Auctions. And I've just been having it sitting in a box here for a little bit. And I'm glad I can finally crack her open. I also have, which has been sitting in a box, is her first scale that got released. And I really need to unbox that. But I just... The, the gorgeous pose with her, with Puck against her cheek, and also this gorgeous chair, which I'm giving you quite a good look at now. I just, I just really felt like unboxing her, and especially from my disappointment earlier this week. Oh, you even have the sculpted cushion underneath. Oh, I had to point that out. But yes. <laughs> Oh, I just, I love gold on white. It's just, oh, in the details. But now for the absolute creme, de, oh, not for the creme de la creme yet. It is the Y base, which I actually brought a kidneys out, but I'm probably going to pack it away soon. You don't necessarily need it, but I was just bringing it out there to show that they do have the text on the bottom. Just another second check for authenticity. Now then, let's bring out the figure. And she is in one piece. I just need the chair and her. Don't you just love it when you barely have to put a figure together? <laughs> Especially from unboxing a few weeks of putting albedo wings on albedo. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I just need some Miku plats and I'll be even more challenged. But oh my goodness! <gasps> Look at her! Oh, her eyes, her face is so cute! And look at Puck! I don't think you could have a happier spirit animal. And the little pom-poms! Oh, stunning! I just, I love Katie Cully's faces. They just, I don't know, they just finish off figures' faces so beautifully. And her skirt, the ruffles, and all the bows, all the bows. Ah, oh, this is just... Fuel for my pastel pink soul. She is divine. Her curly ringlets of hair. Oh, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm very happy. And her tights. Her little shoes are so shiny and cute too. Oh, and this should be just simple. I'm, pre I'm sure I've seen enough of these that they fit on better than the Echidna one. Even though I really do love my Echidna one as well. And pop her on there and that that's basically it I was like is she right on there yep she fits right on snug <laughs> 
and pretty secure too when you have her sitting down. She's quite weighted down, so I wouldn't fear of her toppling over or anything like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I did play around with it a bit, just checking, like, do I have it right? I'm sure that's right. And then I look at the picture in the back. Yes, and that's definitely right. I think so. All right then. But, oh, I am... I'm absolutely so pleased that I got this even, and even though I've been having a sit in the box that I finally opened her I still have that excitement about me because she is just such a beautiful figure so precious oh. now then let's move on to a quick showcase to highlight some of the gorgeous details of this figure <laughs> Stunning. Tell you what, I'm gonna have to give her a shrine shelf now, especially since I'll have to unbox that other figure soon. <laughs> now, a figure comparison. Here she is next to the dragon dress Beatrice version by Sega. Her first Ichiban Kuji prize, I believe it was B prize. <laughs> that would be befitting. <laughs> And of course, this little Neko cap by Sega. Boop! <laughs> Just put you right there, nice and snug. And of course, I have one of these little Ichiban Kuji minifigures, which I'll just pop right there. She's looking quite content. And of course, her Nendoroid. Oh, she's so stunning. I'm so glad that they re-released re her because I had an opportunity to get the Nendoroid for a really good price and I missed out on getting it and because it was just, yeah, funds weren't the best at the time but then I'm glad they re-released it so now that I can get her because she is just so cute and the hair, I am dying for these curls and pastels, so overwhelming! Oh, but don't they look so gorgeous together? Yes, this is definitely my little Beatrice shrine in the making. Though I'll have to put her next to the Echidna in the chair also because Echidna shrine, I need to get some rises so I can see if I can fit more of her figures in there. So that's just about to overcapacitate. But oh my goodness. Stunning. She's definitely, this one is definitely the queen of the collection. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing today. I'm sorry it's very last minute, but I still hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's almost at the weekend, so hang in there. The weekend is just ahead, and I hope you can have some nice time to yourself. Don't forget to take care, treat yourself, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!